Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Do Indulge. Today we are making caramel. Okay, so I will be showing you my easiest, you know, caramel. So many other ways to make caramel, and I will show you every way. But I use this to fill my cupcakes and my cakes. Before we start, I wanted to ask that you please have a long whisk or a long spatula, a deep pot. Safety first because we're working with hot sugar and if you are underage, please ask for help. Open up. You own our stove first. So I'm just gonna take this on the highest, highest heat, okay? So I'm going in with, always start with the water, quarter of a cup, simple. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some sugar, okay? That's one cup of white sugar. Okay, so glucose, so the corn syrup goes in about, I'm just going to wait for this to bubble up first, then I'm going to add my corn syrup. They're starting to bubble up on the sides. Okay, I'm going to add about three tablespoons. Good, so this is just sugar in liquid form. Yeah, just see how it's starting to change color. So it will change to an amber color. Please make sure that you have your milk at this point. You have your fresh cream. You have a long whisk and a, or a long spatula. Um, please just get ready because it burns so quickly from this point on. She's closing up. Come to visit me. She said that she the lonely us and it's hard to open up. Open you up like a pop Now that it's darkening, and like this will show, but this any cream you can go to Woolies, you can go to checkers. I always just put on my glove for safety and have a long, have a long whisk. and caramel now always just always add a teaspoon of orange zest always it makes it taste good um i don't i don't add vanilla but you can go ahead and add some vanilla i just add a teaspoon of orange zest trust me those chocolate cupcakes any kind of feeling that you want to make with this will be bomb.com. So, that's honestly just about it. Just gonna take this off my stove. It took me about 15 minutes to make this whole thing. After cooling it down, you can store it in your fridge and I must admit it tastes better with time. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you on my next video. Santa Andy.